Like I've been in positions where I didn't know what I wanted, in positions where like, I feared the future. Ah, so currently it's Monday. It's the beginning of a new week. New opportunities, new money, new music. Lately, I've been on and off with the grind. I have moments where I stall and I kind of slow down, but I have to remind myself that it's up to me to move forward. I'm sharing this with you because if you go through similar things like that, I want to remind you that it's up to you. A lot of the times we can get complacent, but we can feel like things aren't working. We can feel like, why am I not receiving what I put out? And deep down, it's all for a bigger purpose. That's what I believe. For example, today I was on a run and I was doing a quick jog and a sprint. And every time I sprint, I always ask myself, am I gonna stop myself from sprinting like I did in high school when I played soccer? Because I remember in high school, I used to play soccer and I stopped and I never went back to it. That thought motivated me to push even harder and just go as fast as I could. I remembered when I was in high school and I was playing soccer and I enjoyed the sport, but because of the work behind it, I chose not to go that route. Thinking of it now, and I look back, I was 16. It reminds me that it was my choice to continue in soccer or to stop playing soccer. I like to think about those things now in my life, now that I'm 22, because it reminds me that it's really up to us to decide whether we want to keep going, whether we want to go harder, whether we believe we're in a comfortable state, whether we believe that we're happy with where we're at. You know, that all comes down to the person. But I want to remind you, growth in this life is endless. And if you're watching this video, you have the gift of life. With that comes talents, with that comes purpose, with that comes things that no one else has but you. With that being said, there's something inside of you that only you know about, something that fills your heart, something that impacts others, that puts a smile on your face, something that you do that, that only you can do good. I want you to reignite that flame and go all the way. It's hard sometimes due to circumstances, due to situations, but take advantage now that you're in a state of reflection. Because if you're still watching this video, it's because you are in search for something because you are in search for some form of fulfillment. And I want to put this in your heart and I want to put this in your mind that you have to focus on the main thing in your life. I don't know what that is for you, but to give you an example, for me, it's art, it's fat. Oh, I'm about to say fashion, that's not my thing, but music, video creation, poems, paintings, drawings, whatever art brings, I feel like is my main thing. And it could be different for everyone. To know what your main thing is, what's helped me figure that out was working on myself, working on my mind, building myself up as a man, building my mind as a righteous man, doing things the right way, but also preparing myself for success. What I mean by that is every day is a result of the previous day. So setting yourself up for success has been something that has been helping me out, which I think can help you out whether it's setting your clothes up for the gym tomorrow, the night before, whether it's writing a plan on Sunday to have your whole week set up to succeed. So it's these things that I feel like really helped me figure out my main thing. So if you're in search of the main thing in your life, focus on yourself first. You know, you might be giving a lot of your time and energy and, and thoughts to other people around you, which is not bad, but there's a certain, there's a certain thing that I like to remind myself to give more what you have, you have to get more. And the only way to get more is if you build yourself. For example, if you're gonna give more money away, how are you gonna give more money if you're not making a lot of money? Think of that in that aspect, whether it's your energy, if you build your mind, you have high energy, you are able to share that with others who are in the same wavelength as you. So that's something I wanna share with you guys. It's, it's more like a life talk. And that's what I want these POVs to be, are a deeper look at my mindset and how it can help you. That's my goal, is to help you raise your energy, elevate your mind, elevate the situation you're in. Just remember that you're in control. This isn't to bring anyone down either. If you are in a dark place, if you are in a deep place of sadness, of depression, or something like that, I know it can be difficult to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like I've been in positions where I didn't know what I wanted, in positions where like, I feared the future. But the moment I started bettering in the present moment is the moment when the future started to mold itself in the right way for myself, for my desired life. 
So yeah, man, I encourage you guys to really focus on the present moment. Whether you're eating food, you just focus on the food you're eating. Whether it's you're on a run, focus on the steps, how many steps you're taking on the run. Focus on when you're writing. Look at your words, how you move your hands. Like these are ways to bring yourself back to the present moment. Whether you're talking with someone, just admire the fact that you're conversating, communicating with them. If you're talking to your family, if you're talking to your friends, just really hone in and just remember, these are people that I love these are people that that i care for and i'm here with them so let me just embrace this and i think that's just another way that i've been able to elevate my mind is being present these are things that i've learned over time and experience and just through other people and that's what it takes is time experience and mentors and people you know to learn these things i used to never be like this i'll make a separate story on how i found myself but for right now i just want you guys to remember that it's up to you there's always going to be better days. There's always going to be good days. After the storm, there's always going to be a peace and a rainbow. So, yeah, man. Just keep your head high and stay locked in. You are the main thing right now. If you don't know what your main thing is, you're your own main thing. Your mind is your main thing. And eventually, things will start falling into place. That's pretty much what I want to talk about. It, it was a deep topic. <laughs> so, yeah. Without further ado, let's get it. All right, good little session at the cafe, man. It was awesome. I was able to finish a video of me making a song. I should low-key react to it in the car so y'all could hear it before. Right now, I'm wrapping it up at the cafe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start my other side thing, my side gig, and yeah, I mean, Everything is good so far. Like I stated earlier in the video, today's Monday. Today is the beginning of the week. The way that you take on today will set you up for the rest of the week. So it's a matter of staying focused and remaining your focus on what's important because that'll keep you in a good position to succeed. If you remember why you're doing things, if you remember the main reason why you do things, life is just a lot smoother because you know how to take decisions accordingly. So yeah, it's a little update on what I'm thinking about. We'll continue as we should. Let's go. So I just made this song yesterday and it actually came out pretty nice. Think of like Jace slash Drake. You know, it's very chill, but very rage style. Look, the beat is wavy. You know what I mean? All right, let's get it. In the meantime, I'm just gonna drive. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the song. Yeah, let's see what else we end up doing today. Let's get it. So it's August 30th. My new EP is out. 
It's supposed to be an EP, but on everything, it's actually an album. I was supposed to put an EP, but it's all right. It happens. Things happen for a reason. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get straight into it. Shout out to 412 Seasons, my boy. He gave me the idea to do a listening party with you guys. So let's go ahead and do it. So the first song is called Jet Lag, and this one is actually featuring Steven DMGZ, which is 412 Seasons. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So that was jet lag, let's go! That's probably one of my favorite ones out of the whole album, but so a quick little breakdown on jet lag. Jet lag was more like a song in the moment. It's like you're hyped and you're ambitious, you're happy, excited for what the future holds and how I am confident in the booth. So when I'm in the booth, I get jet lag, you know, like, and I don't mean it like the actual definition of jet lag, just more like when I'm in the booth, I feel like I'm taking a PJ. You know? I'm in a luxurious zone. I'm in a place where I feel the most confident. You know what I mean? That's what I meant. The next song is called Times I Regret. So this one is a little bit deeper. I'll explain it in the end, but let's go ahead and get it. I made this beat. Keep doing me 
tell the day that I go Count these hundreds and hundreds so big I can't fold I'ma do this for family, can't forget my bros, oh I'm in the time, those don't feel lazy All this in time, I can go fuck by these hoes Cause you know they so crazy, they be wasting my time God gave me a vision since a kid, you know how I'm gonna make it Tell them what to do fine, I'ma pay my back for all the pain she was facing But it's only right, it's only It's only right. Yeah. Hey. I'ma take him to the light, yeah. I don't waste my life, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spend too much time in my head. Stay focused on the money. All of the times I regret. Focus on my back, on my lovely. Yeah. Focus on my back, on my baby. Yeah. Hey, spend time with you, all of you save me. I was 14, I ain't know what to do 15, so I hopped in the booth 16, taking drugs to get loose 17, so I threw up the deuce 18, had to change how I moved 19, I was hitting the snooze 20, I was feeling so blue 21, I had no time to lose Put you to the side, but you was my life Yeah, music really saved me, I'm taking it up to the sky Oh, yeah, I feel it inside Oh, yeah, I feel it inside yeah, I do this so one day I can see my mama with it right now. Yo! Yeah. It's all the coffee, by the way, we sipping that Colombian coffee, you know what I mean? Sorry. Yes, sir. I love this, like, 808, just... Uh, uh. Yes, sir. So at times I regret, this one is deep. Since I was 14, I've been on the music shit and I found out about it. I would say the first part of the song is talking about my love for music and how I lost, not lost love for it, but I forgot about it and how this is my passion and how like I ventured off to do all these different things in life and completely disregard the idea that music is my passion, music is what fills me. And then on the second half, it talks about my journey through music on how I figured out about music at 14, I hopped in the booth at 15, and then slowly I drifted away doing drugs, doing crazy stuff. And then finally at 21, I'm like, I can't waste no time. I gotta do this shit. And that's the mindset. That's the mindset I was in in the in the song. And honestly, I feel it right now. You know, I love this song because of that. But yeah, and, then, and speaking about times I regret, this one's called Timeline. And this one is deep too. Shout out Steven, man. Shout out Steven. Ooh, this is crazy, bro. I listened to this in Colombia. I was in a, bro, I'm gonna put a video. I was in a, hold up, before I play, I was on a, I was in a cabin up in the mountains in Colombia listening to this song, bro. Yeah. 
song this basically is talking about how and it's pretty self-explanatory but changing the timeline and the trajectory of my future generations my offspring what is coming this music shit is basically what's directing me in the right direction to succeed in my life you know and it basically talks about the haters are gonna hate man but they're not gonna get in my way of this you know what I mean they can't because it's already placed in my heart and I want everyone to feel the inspiration because when something is placed in your heart whether it's a dream an idea a goal no one can take that from you. You can let people bring you down and you can let them get to your head, but they can't take it from you because it's yours. You know what I mean? Have that and go all in for it. I'm saying like go all the way. No one can take that from you. People might hold you back from doing it at times due to situations or relationships or things that you do with them, but that cannot stop you. You got to keep going. This one's called Stay Close. We'll have to listen to it one more time just so I kind of have an idea of what it was about. From what I remember, it's pretty deep too. Every time 
Dang, so this song, I think it's about just remembering, reminiscing about the times where I was down and I was in so much darkness that I couldn't see hope. And how now that I see hope, now that I see the potential for change, it's my duty to try as much as I can, to keep trying, to keep trying, to keep trying until, until I make something happen. That's the point of this song. <laughs> this next one's called Under Control. This one's also pretty cool. This one's more ambient, underground, SoundCloud kind of shit, so. This one's actually kind of catchy too. times the vibe is so powerful that I could barely focus on the lyrics because like it's so bouncy so in this song it's basically talking about the mastery of music that I'm at because there's levels to mastery I'm at the point where it's my choice could I stay under control and direct my emotions correctly can I focus on the right things can I remove distraction and and really hone in on what's important having that under control as the title it kind of reminds me that I have that responsibility of people who listen to my music are listeners and I'm speaking to, to you words that are inspiring to you. And it's and I have to stay under control because if I don't, I could say things that aren't good. I can't be that nourishing to the person's ear. But anyways, that one's a little bit more freestylish and I'm not really put together. Like it was more off the top. All right, so this is the sixth song. I know I haven't really been counting them, but this is the sixth one. There's eight songs on this album. I might just say album because it already came out like that. But yeah, this one's called For Us. It's pretty cool. Get it like 10k for a show 
Baby girl, you love me for sure. Living like it's my nigga, Lord. Got all of it under control. Get into the bed with my bros. I don't have no time for these hoes. I'm just gonna stay in my zone. Stay in my zone, girl. Stay in my zone. So this song is like, when I say for us, I mean it like, I'm doing this music not just for myself. I'm putting out my music not just to benefit myself. This is to benefit anyone who listens to my music. That's, that's basically the meaning to it. You know, I slowed and reverbed it for a reason. I wanted it to be more like an interlude. Um, this next one's called Phone Line. This one's a little bit more, I guess, romantic. This one has to talk about a girl. I'll get into it after. <laughs> Hit you up after a long time. Hey. A lot of auto tune too. Blowing up your phone line. Blowing up your phone line. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh, like. 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 Oh, I try to text you like two times a night. I try to call you like four, you decline. No, I call the fifth time, no, I cross the line. In the future, can't say I ain't tried. Yeah, I told you how I feel. I asked if you was gonna come back to me, I had to keep it real. I guess it's just a fantasy, cause you just left me there. I spilled my heart to words, it just seemed you didn't care. Did you really care? Did you really love me? Did you want me for real? Was your version true when I told you how I feel? Was it worth the focus on you when to put aside the windows? My body felt too. I be thinking about the things that I could have done. Now I know the truth on what I gotta focus on. I changed at age 15 when I first made my songs. I had to go through pain to know where I belong. I belong. take that part off but i already posted it so fuck it anyways this song is basically about my previous relationship my deepest relationship like i was in that shit for two years man i feel like it was so necessary to go through some form of heartbreak and some form of pain to remember and to realize what was my true calling i figured out about music before this relationship and through the relationship i wasn't really involved in music as much but after we split and i felt this pain and whatever that's when i realized that music was my baby 
you know, it's my love. I got on it, and as you can see, the ideas and the thoughts of her was really trying to bring me down, but I had to remind myself that I have the crown, that I already have the crown. It's the music, so yeah, man. And, and then it says, found me a new one, hop inside the Audi. It's basically talking about the future woman that's meant for me. It's like, she's perfect silhouette. She's perfect everything. Mindset, personality, she's she's set for me. It's just a matter of me doing the job and doing the right thing for myself before anything. And then she'll be presented to me by the most high. Praise God. And I want to share that with all the men watching this video. You know what I mean? Focus on the purpose. Uh, it's tempting, man. We're young men and we're, you know, we want to go out there and just do anything. But it's like, it's up to us to have that temperament and make sure that we hold ourselves back from these things because a lot of the times they're just distractions and not just women, but but just situations, drugs or going out and shit like that. Like we really try to put in the work and then everything will just align perfectly. That's the seventh song and to wrap it up, this one's called Just Getting Started. This is the last song because I want everyone to know that no matter how far you are in your life, there's always going to be moments where you feel like you're, you're just getting started. You're just about to get going in your journey. Like you've set up such a great foundation. You're just getting started. So let's get it. It's a little like teaser. that I was so hyped to put out, but it's definitely one of those albums that I truly feel passionate about and has a very deep meaning behind it. 
I don't push out my music like that as much, although I should, you know, but I want it to be found by the right ears, you know, and I will put it out at some point. I will, I will put myself out there even more with my music. If you want change in your life, you want change in your finances, change in your romantic life, change in your, in your health, in your mental health, whatever, it only requires one thing from the inside, and it's change. And the cover art is me at the laundry mat putting change into a machine. It signifies like to change, you have to give change. So I know I use change a lot, but I want everyone to know that. That's what separates the average person to the very successful person. And they, they choose the other route. They choose the harder route. They choose the route that no one tends to take. They choose the route where they don't go to college for a specific profession. They don't get married young. They don't get into relationships. They don't They don't go out at on the weekends. They don't keep up with the sports. You know, like that's the route that most people find boring. But the people who don't find it boring and are just so impressed with their own progress and their own life that's those are the people those are the people that realize that it takes change we on this shit man i honestly don't know how to end this video off i know it's kind of been all over the place like my previous pov but let's keep going if you're watching this video if you're a fan of my music if you're a fan of my my words i want to thank you because you put time aside to listen to me and it means the world to me because I value time. I appreciate you guys for 500 subscribers. It's amazing to even think about that. I remember I was at 12 subscribers and I'm like, yo, this is crazy. But now that I'm here, it's like, wow, like, it's a good feeling because I know that the work that I put in is just here to serve you. Seeing 500 people that I'm serving is just beautiful. Stay up and stay blessed, my people. We'll talk soon.